got to drop the water levels. A bit too deep for dredging. What do you reckon, Rob? A bit safer now, isn't it? Thing is much better now. We got another six inches to go down, and it'll be excellent. Well, I really need another six inches, really. It's just coming over the tracks. And get the barges in. Ready. Ah, good morning. Had a little issue with that last night. Don't go far, we want to see it. <laughs> yeah, but you're not in the film. I don't have to be in it. The actual ram broke off from the a bush here yesterday. So I was going to change the bucket and I couldn't. So we just uh, got it off last night, went back to the yard, welded it up. It happened before, so we kind of knew what we were doing. And we're just gonna quickly put it back together and carry on. Cut. It. It, um, it was a bit deep when we started, so we dropped the water level, opened the slough gate, it wasn't enough, so we dug a, a ditch on the dam, dropped another foot. But because it's no silt in it, it's really it's not really a dredging job, it's um, reshaping this pond bed. We're digging up proper clay. A really hard, rock solid. So uh, I was still struggling. It's just enough water for hard digging to let the machine float about, and uh, I was mostly just dragging myself instead of digging. We can't have any more water out because it's fish is in here. So uh, I decided to flood my tanks and stick the digger onto the bottom, which it works. Um, obviously closer to the edges is a bit nicer, here in the middle, it's still not bad, but it seems to be a bit softer and uh, I just pinned the digger into the mud and it's still rock solid. Come on, baby. There we go. Comes up in lumps like that.
like it where I've been, where I haven't been. So yeah, now I'm on the bottom all the time. Just have to keep it in mind that if I don't go down, I'm not coming back up. and a few other panels been actually already painted I will make a video on the weekend about that um, yeah it's very exciting I really I can't I can't wait for the weekend to come and work on it uh, end of the day we gotta earn some money so during the week we doing this or other jobs which is actually earn money instead of spending it but yeah very exciting so um, Stay tuned for that. Now, is, uh, until we got such a short distance be between the landing and me, uh, there's no point to use a boat, a tugboat. We 
just flick it. Um, we've been, I've been dredging it for that's day number three, two and a half really. We got Thursday it wasn't a full day. Anyway, so far we only missed one uh, passing on to each other, and um, that sorted itself out because five minutes later the wind picked up and the barge came back to me. So it works for now. And when we get to that point that uh, we need a boat, we're gonna get the boat. Until then we carry them as it is, because at the end of the day, another boat is another person to run. Proper clay, really hard to dig. It's not like sealed, then you're bucket just falls into it a little bit. That's proper hard dig. I got that toothy bucket on and still require all the guts she's got to rip it up. I mean look at that. It's just unbelievable. Look at it. Proper clay.
flooded the, the middle sections of the tanks. It's sectioned up to three sections. Um, so, for safety reasons, eventually, if you get a lake, you get a puncture basically, you get a puncture in your tanks. Uh, the tank's still uh, sectioned up, so it's only flood that particular section. Anyway, I, I flooded, took the plug out, uh, flooded uh, the two middle sections. So, it's right under the machine, right in the center. So, I still got a bit of a floating effect, but much more stable. Is uh, I can feel uh, I can feel she's much heavier on the water and. Uh, most likely to stay in one spot instead of just dragging myself when I'm digging. Using clamp shell instead of a bucket. Buckets just destroys the destroys the barges. Clamp shell is the way to go. That one theory is sold. And we might get in a new one. Shh. Good old girl, spend many good hours on it, good hours. So yeah, here we are. I'll keep you updated what's going on. Thanks a lot. <laughs>